Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, before I begin, I'm not giving you any medical advice and everything stated in this video that pains the speaker and should not be construed as claim for or against any product or products. All right guys, with that being said, I have made a wild discovery. I actually made this discovery quite a while ago. I just never shared it in great detail. And I think it's extremely important because in my opinion, I'm not giving you any medical advice for making medical claims, but this is absolutely unbelievable because it has to do with new information in regards to how the human body actually works. By understanding how the human body actually works, you can take your health to an absolute whole other level that is really, really blowing my mind as far as the things that I've been witnessing and other people have been witnessing. So I'm going to share some of that. And almost nobody knows about this. There's one doctor. It's kind of crazy. One doctor who knows about it, kind of in America that I've seen. He also happens to be a neurosurgeon. And there's just a few people in Japan. So this is almost nobody knows about it, but I think I made the discovery actually a while back. And this is ultimately what it is. How can you absorb light in order to really transform the health of the human body? I know that the human body needs minerals and vitamins and nutrients, and there's a lot of really different factors in regards to health. What nobody really realized is how we can actually absorb light rather than light actually causing us harm. So I'll give you an example ultimately. If you're out in the sun, and that's really some of the most amazing light that you can get, a lot of times if you're out there too long, you can potentially burn. You're not really absorbing the light the way that you should. And the problem is that when you burn, it actually causes damage. It can even cause damage not only to your skin, but to your eyes. So ultimately, the sun could be something that's bad for you. So how do you absorb that light? Well, this is the method that I actually uncovered. I have tried a lot of different hydrogen devices throughout the years. I'm sure you guys know that. And also different diets. I've tried a lot of different diets. But the thing that I've never seen anything quite like this is I've obviously learned that the way you make hydrogen in different ways, it, they don't all work the same. That's one thing that I definitely noticed. Like, for example, these little bottles. Like, these are not working for what I'm talking about. And I'll show you why in a second. So ultimately, when you're in the sun, if you follow, and this has been my observation, if you use the right equipment, so if you guys want, want to know what I use, which I only use the best when it comes to hydrogen and cleaning my water, it's just go to a website called holyhydrogen.com. You'll see the Hydrofix Premium there, the number one Japanese machine in the world. Basically, that's what I use, right? What I started observing with myself at first is that I would spend time out in the sun. I would not put sunscreen on or sunblock or anything. Now, it took time and following certain protocols that I've created in regards to hydrogen, but I started noticing that I wouldn't burn. And that was kind of odd because I used to, I basically would burn before. I would get burnt, you know, I'd burn on my shoulders, I would burn on my nose. You know, I would just get burnt on my body after so much time out in the sun. And I was noticing that I'd been spending a lot of time out there and that I wasn't burning. Then I started using my method on other people as far as my hydrogen protocol, people like in my family, for example, different friends. And they would spend time outdoors, a lot of time outdoors with like no shirt on and whatnot. And they were noticing the same pattern. They weren't burning. This was absolutely insane because we are talking about people who would regularly burn out in the sun. They spent a little too much time out there and they're like, gosh, dang it, I burnt myself again. And so then I started up, I've been doing this for a year. So I've been observing these techniques as far as the equipment, because with other equipment, I notice it doesn't work. I think it has a lot to do with the nano part of the technology, which are really, really fine little hydrogen bubbles. And just the techniques that I like to use in regards to the protocols where I use the specific type of water in certain regimens, the hydrogen gas. Like I have this whole protocol, this whole technique, depending on what your goals are, but also just to maintain health. So then I started noticing this working with a lot of people. And then as you absorb the light, it actually works with other methods that I also use for my health in regards to having proper mineral intake, trying to overcome all my nutritional deficiencies. Of course, I also do certain antiparasitics and cleanse these out of my body. And, and I try to do the best I can as far as giving my body the, the needs that it, that it basically needs in order to have your health maximized. Then when I started doing the blood work, that's when things really started going to a whole other level where to the point where I literally had doctors contacting me and asking me, 
How are you achieving this? Literally, after years of looking at blood work, I would literally have a doctor say, I've been doing, you know, I've been studying blood work for like three decades and never in my life have I ever seen blood work come out like yours. Not one person. And they were literally asking me like, what exactly are you doing? This is the key, guys. Absorbing light has a lot to do with the hydrogen. Proper hydrogen protocol, proper levels, and proper equipment. Once you get, and, and I mean, I've only seen this work with pure hydrogen too. I have not seen this work with Brown's gas for whatever reason. In fact, Brown's gas tend to make me sick. Um, it used to be, because they use lye, and I'll talk about more of that later if you guys want. But the point is, is the proper hydrogen that doesn't make me sick, and then the proper protocol, then you really start, when you absorb light, then everything in the body starts functioning properly. This is why you do, you do want your proper levels of nutrients, by the way. You do want to have good exercise. You do want the proper minerals. I mean, you, there are certain things that you want in your life and just basic stuff. You don't need to be on a million different supplements in my opinion, but literally the key to absorbing that light is the hydrogen as far as I have found. Second, I have noticed, now this is really odd too, that foods that are rich in antioxidants have kind of a similar effect. They do actually also help absorb light and burn less. Not as much as hydrogen. Hydrogen is just that one thing that's just like, in my opinion, absolutely like a miracle, miraculous. But I noticed it with the diet too, and I found that to be very, very odd. All this is very new information and in how it works with the light of the body and how that works ultimately with everything else. So, and I really do recommend, or again, no advice. It's what I would do, let's just put it that way is to spend time outdoors and really get that natural light from the sun. It really, in my opinion, is the best light. And hydrogen to me is also a form of light and that's bringing in a lot of light too. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It was really, really interesting observing this throughout the years. If you did find it helpful, as usual, support the channel, guys. It helps the algorithm. It's free. And I'm bringing all this information to you guys for free. And don't forget to comment, share if you've had any similar experiences. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.